Hello everyone, this is Josh, made on the AJ Mirwald, bringing you another science and sailing. Get your climbing harness on, and I hope you're not afraid of heights, because today we are going up, up, up. That's right, we're going aloft. But why do we need to go up there anyway? Unlike a square rigger, which requires sailors to climb aloft on shrouds like a ladder every time they set or douse the sails, on a fore and aft rig vessel, like a schooner like the AJ Mirwald, we can set and douse all of our sails without ever leaving the deck. So again, why? Well, if you take a look around, you'll quickly notice that almost all of the ship's lines, blocks, sails, and rigging are on the deck or otherwise not rigged to the boat. In order to uprig the boat or attach all the lines and sails, we must go aloft. You might be asking, but Josh, there are no ratlins on the shrouds with which to climb aloft. How will you ever get up there safely? Let me introduce you to the bosun's chair. It's a simple device, really, composed basically of some rope and a wooden board on which to sit. Instead of climbing up, you must be hoisted up by crew members. But we should probably inspect this first um, to make sure it's safe. Is the line chafed or is the board cracked? Nope, we're all good. Now, we'll attach the line to the, uh, the gantlin using an old climbing knot called a figure eight with a follow through. A figure eight with a follow through. If you'd like to learn how to tie this knot, I'll show you in a future video. But if you've ever been rock climbing, you know that this knot is used most often to attach you to a rope. It's a very good knot. Now, before I ascend the loft, I want to go over a few more safety concerns. First of all, um, do you have your climbing harness and did you inspect it? Make sure all the carabiners and the webbings work in good working order. Great, now put that on. Next, empty out your pockets, all of them. We can't have any loose gear going aloft with us and risking falling and hitting a crew member, damaging the boat or sinking into the water. That means that all tools, sunglasses, knives, all of this must be secured with a lanyard so that it cannot fall. Now I will be hauled up by three crew members. Two of them will be hauling down and one of them will be tailing on this line, rendering the slack around the cleat so that it's always tight. Now it's vital that crew members maintain firm contact to the line at all times while hauling and that at least two turns are kept on the cleat to increase the friction and make holding my weight up there a lot easier. Communication is paramount. So how about we go over a few of the commands that we'll be using while I'm aloft. Now, anytime I want to get the attention of someone on deck, I'll begin communication by shouting on deck, to which they will respond aloft or vice versa. If I want to go up, I'll simply shout haul away. To stop, momentarily, I say hold, and they'll put two turns on the cleat and continue holding the tail. Now, if I want to stop for a longer period of time, I'll yell make fast, and the deck crew will belay the line to the cleat completely and finish it off with a locking hitch so that I'm secure without the need of anybody touching or holding the line any longer. Now, if I'm in a secure place, and I want the crew to cast the line off so that I can do something with the other end of the line, like taking off this bosun's chair, I'll say something like, all off. If I need to unscrew a bolt or nut, or I have some sort of gear that I can't secure to a lanyard, and I don't want it to fall on any bo anyone below, I'll simply shout, on deck, stand from under, loose gear aloft. And they'll remain out of the way until I say, gear is secure. And to ease me back down to the deck, I simply say ease away. It should only take one person to ease me back down, even though it took three to haul me up. Now, every single command that is given should be shouted back exactly as given so that we ensure that it's heard correctly. One more thing. At all times, when aloft on the AJ Mirwald, we should be clipped into uh, secure halyard or secure hardware or secured to a line. To do this, we have these two anchor systems and we have a pressing system. So there's 
never a reason to not be clipped in. That means that I'll use this prussic to stay on a stay, <laughs> to be clipped into a stay, so that if for some strange reason the crew decides to let go of the gantlin, I won't fall to the deck. And every time I move from one area to the next, when I'm above the gantlin and climbing out of the chair, I'll clip in to the next spot I'm going before unclipping my other anchor. Make sense? All right, let's put all this in practice. Today, I'm going to bring up the four throat halyard and bring down the gantlin so that we can inspect and service the block. This has been Josh with the AJ Mirwald bringing the Bay Shore to you. See you at the top. On deck. On deck. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's as far as the bosun's chair can carry us, right where I'm standing. You can see the mirwald from the spreader trees right here. We're pretty high. See all the seagulls and the birds on, that like to hang out on the roof of the Bayshore Center. The clam plant over there, the Morris River the wetlands of the Morris River, but I am up here not to skylark or to sightsee, but to put this block right here, which is our four throat halyard, all the way up there where our gantlin block is and bring that gantlin block back down to the deck so that we can inspect it. But to do that means I have to climb up there. So bear with me a little bit. I'm going to put you on my head and I'm going to take you up to the top. We're going to truck the mat. Alright, so remember how earlier I said you always need to keep at least one of your anchors clipped in at all times. So I'm only going to undo one of them. This one. Carry it up in my mouth. Keep this one clipped in until I can get to the next spot. And since the bosun's chair doesn't go this high, we actually have to climb. Now that I'm clipped in up here, I can grab my other anchor right here. Clip it around the other side of the mast to a secure location. You never want to clip to a stay because this simply becomes a zip line. It'll send you all the way down to the bowsprit. You don't want to do that. So you want to clip to something that ends and is secure. And now that I'm clipped in, I can lean back and relax. Now I have access to this block that I needed to get to, and I can bring this block up to it. Alright, well I gotta go get to work. I'll see you guys when I get back on deck. Take care.
Alright, hello again. Well, managed to rig up the fourth throat halyard where the gantling goes, and we're going to use this to do a lot of our uprig. It'll help us hoist up some things with uh, more purchase. I sent the gantling block down below. You can see it's attached right here to the boss's chair. I got back in the chair. And I'm going to take you down. Back to the back of the On deck. Ease slowly. Hold. On deck, ease away. Hold. And we're back. Alright, well I hope you had fun. Until next time, it's been Josh, Science and Sailors, bringing the Bay Shore to you.